Here to tell us more about his revolutionary work, please welcome William Hoff. Can you hear me okay? My name's William Hoff, and I'm the founder of Global Housing Concepts. I've developed an innovative way to bring low-cost housing to remote areas of the world. Before I talk to you about that, though, let me tell you a little bit about my background. I was a crane operator in Las Vegas for 34 years, and during that time, I witnessed this small gambling town turn into the world-class city that it is today. I had a big part in building the mega resorts that are seen in Las Vegas now. The building practices employed, the development of what we now call the Strip, has given me a unique insight to some high-tech and innovative building solutions. After growing up in Puerto Rico and traveling around the world as a crane operator, I developed a determination to find out how to improve the shelter and housing conditions of people living in other countries less fortunate than ourselves. My determination led me to develop a system that can be used anywhere in places where people are willing to better their lives. I invented a portable concrete mold system with vertical sliding partitions that fit into a shipping container. In developing this system, I always sought balance between the current construction practices and sustainable, low-cost, durable structures. Anywhere a shipping container can be placed, we can build low-cost homes and teach the local people how to build their own homes as well as other structures. This is a mini building factory, but all the fabrication takes place on site rather than having fabrication done in a plant far away and then having to transport the materials to the building site. We just need to place the portable concrete mold, a forklift, and a concrete mixer and pump on site. And with these items and some training, people can build their own structures and take pride in what they're doing. Everything on the mold is done by hand tools and has a great safety protocol. This system is to help them build for themselves. How does it work? The method is called precast and it's used worldwide. Concrete is poured into the top of the shipping container so that it pours between the partitions. The partitions can be set for different widths allowing walls of any thickness so we may build for a particular structure. The concrete is poured vertically through the top after they are cured, the concrete panels are lifted from the top and set in place. You can think of it like a toaster and the bread being the concrete walls. The dimensions of the shipping container allow us to pour walls that are 38 foot long and eight and a half feet tall. One concrete pour yields six concrete panels which can translate into four walls and two roof panels. This will build a 570 square foot house. That does not sound like a lot of space to us, but the average house in a developing country is under 500 square feet. Our goal is a standard house of 850 square feet. Now let's not forget the windows and doors. These are created by placing blockouts in strategic locations before the concrete is poured into the mold. The concrete panels can also be turned up on end to create panels 38 feet tall. This allows us to build four-story buildings. In addition, multiple molds can be placed together to increase production and cast and deliver from one central location. This system can be moved within 24 hours and set back up, leaving a minimal footprint of prior activity. Since the mold can be used over and over, there is really no limit to how many panels can be made. So we can join the panels together to make larger structures. The movable petitions allow us to create panels of many shapes and sizes, beams, columns, half walls, and structures to be used to make bridges, schools, community centers, or whatever the community needs are. These structures will last longer and cost less because of the materials I plan to use. First, I do not plan on using traditional Portland cement. That would create a cost having it shipped in and increase the cost of the building. My plan is to mix geopolymer concrete with the rock and soil that's available locally. This allows the builder to be pretty self-sufficient and use some materials that are already on hand. Some geopolymers can incorporate the use of cellulose. 
This means that recycled paper, cardboard, wood chips can be used to make concrete. These can be stronger than regular concrete and remain fireproof. Another advantage of using geopolymer concrete is that it cures much faster than Portland concrete. Geopolymer cement cures and sets in one day, while Portland cement typically takes three to five days so we can have homes built and ready to occupy in much less time. Here in the United States, structures meet and exceed all state requirements to include international building codes. This is a volumetrics concrete truck seen in the lower right. This also offers an affordable means to mixing and transporting these construction materials. These trucks are simple to use and are a basic method of mixing Portland cement that can be easily converted to mix geopolymer. The second key material to this system is basalt rebar. In traditional construction, we use steel rebar, which rusts over time, causing the concrete to become weak and crack. However, basalt rebar is made from the black slag of volcanoes and is a mineral, not a metal. It is three times stronger than steel and half the weight. It also holds its shape, and if it is bent from an impact or movement of any kind, it will return back to its original form before the event. I'm sure you can see how this would be a huge benefit in areas where earthquakes occur. The salt rebar use is already very popular in Russia and China, and is so low cost that it is less expensive to ship here than to use the steel rebar we have here in the United States. There are so many more details and benefits I could cover, but I'm sure with this short presentation you can begin to see how this system could make life better for thousands of people all over the world. It could revolutionize life in developing countries as well as potentially being used to create emergency housing in a disaster situation. Global Housing Concept is focused on doing a lot more for a lot less putting people and the planet's needs first. So far, I've completed all the research and development for this system on my own and with my own funding. I have property in Anamagosa Valley, 12 miles from Death Valley. Here we have built the molds and are building houses for prototypes to be used around the world. If you are interested in being involved in this project in any way, I invite and welcome you to join me in bringing the dream of quality, affordable, sustainable housing to as many people as we can. I'm sure you can agree to get the greatest change we need to think out of the box. So you can get additional information to contact us at outoftheboxconstruction.com. On our website, you'll also find information about an organic insect repellent that I hope puts Monsanto out of business. Check it out. A, a fireproof post-it note, which is really cool, and we grow fruits and vegetables in salty soil and very, very hot weather conditions. Thank you very much.